All right, day 20, the last day. So for the few uh, that made it here, um, we're going to wrap up focusing on those diagonals because those are what people can have a hard time um, visualizing and they're critically important. A lot of tactics are missed on these long diagonals. And so we're going to be focusing on queens and bishops. And so the exercise is just going to be like the last two days where we got to use the piece on the left to attack the piece on the right without, um, we have to safely attack that piece. So, um, and this is of course without using a chessboard. So the first exercise is to name all the squares from which a queen on e3 can safely attack a black bishop on a6. The second exercise is to name all the squares from which a white queen on g1 can safely attack a black bishop on c3. Our third exercise is to name all the safe squares from which a white queen on g4 can attack a black bishop on c6. And finally, the last exercise of this course is to name all the squares where a white queen on h5 can safely attack a black bishop on g2. So I'll pause the video here shortly and we'll go over the answers. And then we'll have another video where we do a wrap up and a post test. All right, so our first exercise is a queen on e3 attacking a bishop on a6. So of course, the f1 to a6 diagonal is off limits as well as the a6 to d8 diagonal, which is a bit irrelevant because our queen can't get there anyway. But um, that does mean that we cannot safely attack the bishop from d3 or e2. So once again, we want to attack it from the front or from the side. So we want to work down the a file or the sixth rank. And so squares from which we can safely attack it include a7, a3, b7 laterally, I'm sorry, b6 laterally, e6 laterally, and h6 laterally. So that's puzzle number one. Let's uh, load up the next one. So the second exercise is a queen on g1 and a bishop on c3. And so this bishop does take away the e1 to a5 diagonal as long as the long central a1 to h8 diagonal. So it takes off limits e, e1, a1, g7, and d4. So once again, we need to focus on attacking this thing from the front, you know, of, you know, from the front or back or from the sides. And so we need to attack it along the C file and along the third rank. And so squares, which we can do that from, include E3 laterally, G3 laterally, C1 vertically up the C file, c5 vertically down the c file and so let us move on to the next one all right so the third exercise has a queen on g4 trying to attack a bishop on c6 and so the the bishop makes the long h1 to a8 diagonal off limits as well as the a4 to e8 diagonal. And so because of that, we cannot use the squares a4, e4, d7 to attack that bishop. So once again, we need to work along the c file and along the sixth rank and attack it from you know the front or back and from the sides. And so we can safely attack it from e6 laterally, 
from g6 laterally down the 6th rank. We can also attack it from the front and from behind by going to c4 and attacking it vertically up the c-file and going to c8 and attacking it vertically down the c-file. All right, so let's go on to the last exercise of this course. All right, so the final exercise of the course involves a queen on h5 and a bishop on g2. And so that, of course, makes the long light square diagonal h1 to a8 off limits, as well as the short f1 to h3 diagonal off limits. So we cannot safely um, attack the bishop from h1, h3, f3, or d5. So once again, we have to attack it um, along the g-file or along the second rank. And so we can attack it uh, along the g-file from squares g4, g5, g6. And we can attack it along the second rank by the squares e2 and h2. And so that is it for this month training course. If you made it through all these videos, congratulations. Um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll do another video here um, where we'll wrap things up and we'll do a post-test. That'll be very similar to the pre-test. And you can just pull out your scores from the pre-test and compare them to the post-test. And then, um, you know, I'd be interested in any feedback, but uh, we'll elicit that in the next video. So congratulations if you've done this. You're one of the few people that I'm sure has the discipline to do this. Um, and I do think it will have made a huge difference um, going forward for you. So good job.